Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, most of you know that I just recently came back from New York again and um, I was there to do some video shoots for um, Avon as since I'm a um, Avon color brand ambassador. Um, so while I was there we did these video shoots and they of course um, gave us clothing and jewelry options to wear during the video and I was able to take those home with me. So I thought I would show you guys these products because these are available now in the current campaigns and the upcoming campaigns. Um, and if you haven't before, there is a link to my website down in the information bar. So if you're interested in checking these out in detail, then you're welcome to go there and take a look. Um, so I'm going to show you the clothing first and then I will move on to the jewelry. So the first thing is this pair of, they're kind of like jeggings. Um, and they actually come in two colors. This color happens to be sort of like a um, tealish green blue. And um, they do have, you know, denim detailing with back pockets. Um, now the pockets are real pockets as well. So they are completely functional on the back. The front pockets are not functional. And um, they are like a, a skinny jean style. And, I mean, you can see they're nice and stretchy. So they come in this color teal and they also come in kind of a bright pink. And the pink is actually um, this color pink, which may not look as bright on camera as it actually is. Um, but this leads to the next item, which is this pretty top. It's kind of like a peasant style blouse. Um, it's got the pretty flower details. I think this is probably what I'm going to wear for Easter. And so it's got a uh, nice yellow and green and teal blue and bright pink. These are all kind of the pretty pastels. Um, it does have this detailing, kind of this um, ribbon effect down the front. And it does have drawstrings at the top at the neck if you want to tie it together. Um, and the sleeves do have a button here with some detail around the edge of the sleeves. The sleeves are, are um, basically like a three-quarter length sleeve and it's it's nice and long with um, a nice swoop shaped bottom. Let me see if I can show you the bottom. So the bottom is nice and rounded so it gives you a nice finished look if you want to wear it over you know a jegging style or pant or skinny jean. Um, but it's also nice and it's a really nice material, nice and thin, so that it would tuck into something like if you wanted to tuck it into a high-waisted skirt, that would look really pretty too. So there's that. Um, then there is a maxi dress that is out now and it's this pretty um, like nice bold green and navy blue and it has kind of this faux, you know, it sort of looks like you've got a cami underneath. And then it does tie. It does have a, a tie. And it's just super long. It just goes all the way down to the floor. A nice straight line down to the floor. So that is nice. Um, the top that I actually wore during the video shoots is this nice sparkly tank. Um, pretty white tank. And um, it is kind of thin. Uh, the material's not thin, but it is a little bit sheer is the word I'm looking for um, in the back. So you might want to layer it with uh, some pieces, but as far as the front goes, it does kind of have uh, behind the, the mesh that the um, sequins is sewn onto, you know, the fabric is back there. So it's kind of double layered in a way, which helps to, to make it be less see-through in the front. So um, I actually... You know, we didn't know what our options were going to be, and so the undergarments that I had were um, not what I would normally pick to wear under a white top, but everyone assured me that you could not see through it <laughs> from the front. You could see it from the back, but not through the front. So, just a little information there. And then, this last item, I haven't even opened this yet. Um, this is a Mark dress. This is called the Salute to Style dress. And... Let me open it for you. And it kind of gives you that, you know, army green effect, you know, the salute to style. Um, but it's actually a little bit darker than army green. It's almost kind of a like an emerald or an evergreen type of color. Really cute detailing. It has this um, kind of brass sort of zipper that goes all the way up the front. 
Um, it's got the pocket detailing. Um, you can see that the uh, it does have a belt, obviously, and uh, the belt has that bronze detailing as well. And even the um, belt loops have this have these studs on them. And it just comes down. Uh, the zipper goes all the way down, obviously, to the bottom in the front. So, just a really cute dress, nice little um, short sleeves, little, you know, cap sleeve style. A little longer than cap sleeve style, but essentially cap sleeve style. So, those are the um, clothes that I had to choose from to wear. And uh, then the jewelry, they had a lot of excess jewelry, so we were able to take, you know, extra pieces. Um, and I tend to be an earring girl, so you'll see that I have a lot more earrings than anything else. But, you know, we, we initially were choosing items that would go with the clothing options that we had to wear. And then kind of at the end, we all kind of stood around and everything that was left over, we just sort of divided up between the group of us. So the first thing, which are the earrings that I actually wore during the shoot, are these pretty um, chandelier style earrings. So these have kind of blue and teal green, um, it's kind of like an aquamarine sort of blue, like an aqua tealy blue with a tealy green. With the silver backing, they also have these in like a coral color with gold backing. So if you're more of a gold girl or more of a coral girl, you've got color options with these, really nice. And then this is the ring that I wore. This ring comes in um, a lot of different colors as well. It also comes in gold. Um, with uh, a really pretty one is the gold with the red center and I think there's like a I believe there's like a purple center I, I'm not positive but there are a couple different options but since I wore the silver uh, sequined top you know this was a good option to go with that. The next is a set of earrings um, and it's the same set of earrings but it comes in gold and, and silver so when you buy it you get both colors and it's just this sort of um, like a twisted hoop you can see it just kind of looks like the metal is sort of twisted and like I said it comes you get both pairs so this is the gold pair and you can see they're exactly the same just one is silver and one is gold so uh, I'm kind of a big hoop girl that's hoops are kind of my go-to you know casual earring and so these are kind of these are right up my alley and these went really well with pretty much all of the options that I had narrowed it down to before I made the final decision so that's where my choice in these came from and this was a pair that was kind of um, left uh, uh, to the end. They had quite a few of these. And so, um, you know, a couple of people, one person wore them during the video. And so a couple of people were able to take these pairs home. Um, and they come in gold and silver. They are these leaf uh, chandelier style earrings. And you can see these, each individual leaf is free flowing. So you get a lot of nice uh, movement and sparkle with these. And um, the detail on these, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. I left them in the box, so maybe the black would help. But these are actually cut out. I mean, there is um, spacing here in the leaves. All of these little veins are actually individual little, you know, bars of metal. So the detail on these is really nice. These come in gold and silver, so I just, I just got the silver pair. Um, obviously, because it went with... The majority of my outfits and, you know, the one that I ended up wearing. And this was just another earring option that I had picked up just in case um, because I was leaning more towards the sequin top that I was going to be wearing. So this is just a nice little subtle kind of dangle beaded pair. You can see the detail a little better. So it has, um, you know, bigger clear beads, littler clear beads, and they're a little bit iridescent. Um, it's got the bigger silver ball and then up here it has like a uh, you know a bigger pearl um so just pretty little you know these are nice for every day or work or what have you they're just kind of a standard nice pair and then this is one of the items that was left um and uh, i went ahead and took it because i thought it would go well with my um with the uh, maxi dress but there were a couple of these, a few people got to take this home. And this is a necklace, and I'm going to leave it in the packaging. You can see it has, there's quite a bit of chain, so it, it is um, suitable for like a tunic style top or a, a you know, t-shirt if you want to wear it over like a long sleeve t-shirt type look. But it just has, 
you know, this gold sort of medallion at the top with this blue stone, and it comes down to this sort of teardrop style, you know, um, blue beading. There is a blue bead here in the middle. So that's really pretty. And you, you notice I have, I really ultimately, for my clothing options, picked more silver items than I did gold items. I love gold jewelry, but because of the color of my hair, um, it has a tendency to kind of just get lost in my hair color, and so I don't wear gold quite as much as I do silver. So initially I picked a lot more silver items, and then at the end when we were dividing things up, I took a little more gold so it would be kind of, you know, even for everybody. And these are just the earrings that match that um, necklace. So you can see it has the large drop at the bottom. And these are pretty long. I mean, they're probably... Hmm. Ultimately, they're probably about two and a half inches long, I would say, as a guesstimate. And then next is a necklace. This is just a like a triple strand gold um, snake chain. So, you know, it would lay like this. So the strands are, you know, three different lengths, so it lays nicely on the neck. And um, it does have a little, you know, a little bead finish with an extender which you can remove the extender if you want to. And it um, actually has an extender on this side as well, which also can be removed. So that's really nice because you have the two extenders and you have this um, option of really making it like a nice tight choker if you take off the extenders. But with both of these extenders on, you can really kind of make this a pretty long chain if you want to as well. And then the last item is a Mark necklace. This is the Chase the Blues necklace. Um, we ended up, uh, they kind of de decided partway through that they wanted us to only wear the Avon items. And so um, we kind of went through the Mark items sort of at the end. I, I kind of had a little bit more clothing options, I think, than a few of the other uh, girls. And so um, when, when it kind of got down to going through the Mark items, I just only took one Mark piece and I kind of let everyone you know, take all the rest. So this is the only mark piece I got, but this is a gorgeous kind of a turquoise blue, you know, bib style necklace. Again, it's finished with the bead with the lobster, or yeah, the lobster claw clasp at the top. Um, the extender can also be taken off if you want to shorten it or don't like the extender hanging down in the back. But it's a really pretty turquoise necklace, really nice. Okay, so that's everything. That's my big video shoot uh, haul <laughs> for you guys. Um, if there are any of the products that you want more information on, um, I mean, obviously you can go to my website and look if you'd like, but if you'd like more feedback from me on any of the products or have any questions about them, feel free to ask down in the comments below. And I hope everyone has had a great week and um, you're getting ready to have a good weekend. And I will be watching the Buckeyes play in the tournament again tonight. So I have yet another Ohio State Buckeyes shirt on. <laughs> and if you're following the basketball tournaments at all. Um, I used to cheer for basketball. So I do enjoy. Uh, I enjoy most sports. Actually, I'm a little uh, bit of a tomboyish girly girl. <laughs> so you'll find me watching sports quite a bit. But anyway, so I will be watching the game this evening. And um, so that's that's about it. And tomorrow is Easter, so I hope you all have a wonderful Easter for those of you who um, do celebrate Easter. And if you don't celebrate Easter, that's okay too. You just have a wonderful Sunday. And I will see you all next time. Bye.